Welcome to Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Each week I'll talk about different tips and best practices for those caring for an aging loved one. For the month of September, our focus will be on dementia support. So today I want to talk about nonverbal communication, which is communication without the use of spoken language. It includes things like facial expressions, gestures, body language, and touch. Over time, nonverbal communication may become the only form of communication for people living with dementia. So using fewer words and relying on those nonverbal communication methods can help ease frustration, allowing you to continue to make connections with your loved one. A few different tips for nonverbal communication include avoiding sudden movements, standing with your arms crossed, or using a tense voice or facial expression when communicating. These can all be upsetting or distressing, even if you don't intend them to be. Visual props can be very helpful. Having things like cue cards or maybe a picture book for mealtime that your loved one can point to uh, when choosing their meal are great places to start. And always make sure to sit or stand at eye level. Sitting too close to a person that's living with dementia or standing over them can be very intimidating and it doesn't make for a positive connection or experience for either yourself or your loved one. So what about pain? We've all shown nonverbal cues when in pain, and it's no different for people living with dementia. Um, with the increase in need for nonverbal communication as a person progresses with their dementia, you want to look out for things like facial wincing, reluctance to move a specific body part, groaning with movement, a reduction in appetite, aggression, or frustration. Pain can come from a variety of sources for older adults, and some common causes of pain include UTI or constipation, diabetes, headache or migraine, backache, toothache, arthritis, or bed or pressure sores. By monitoring your loved one and working to create your own understanding of their nonverbal communication methods, you can continue to have a successful care routine at home. For more information on how to best communicate with a loved one living with dementia, please don't hesitate to give us a call or reach out through social media. Um, we're happy to provide you with some different tips, some guidance, some resources, um, or provide you some additional assistance in the home if you're looking for a little bit of a break um, to be able to uh, get out and tend to your own needs to practice self-care for yourself as well as a family caregiver. Um, our phone number is 860-533-9343. I really, really appreciate you sitting and um, spending some time with me this Tuesday, and I really look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.